Number 20. You already have a business and you're about to launch your blog so that you can sell your product. Unfortunately, here is where a business mind can be a bad thing. Most people believe that to have a successful business blog promoting a product, they have to stay strictly on the topic. If all you're doing is shamelessly promoting your product, then who is going to want to read the latest thing you're writing about? Instead, you need to give some useful or entertaining information away for free so that people have a reason to keep coming back. Only by doing this can you create an interested audience that you will then be able to sell to. So, the best way to be successful with a business blog is to write about things that your audience will be interested in. Number 21. Our language helps to reveal our deeper assumptions. Think of these revealing phrases, when we accomplish something important, we say it took blood, sweat, and tears. We say important achievements are hard-earned. We recommend a hard day's work when day's work would be enough. When we talk of easy money, we are implying it was obtained through illegal or questionable means. We use the phrase that's easy for you to say as a criticism, usually when we are seeking to invalidate someone's opinion. It's like we all automatically accept that the right way is, inevitably, the harder one. In my experience this is hardly ever questioned. What would happen if you do challenge this sacred cow? We don't even pause to consider that something important and valuable could be made easy. What if the biggest thing keeping us from doing what matters is the false assumption that it has to take huge effort? Number 22. The old saying is that knowledge is power, but when it comes to scary, threatening news, research suggests the exact opposite. Frightening news can actually rob people of their inner sense of control, making them less likely to take care of themselves and other people. Public health research shows that when the news presents health-related information in a pessimistic way, people are actually less likely to take steps to protect themselves from illness as a result. A news article that's intended to warn people about increasing cancer rates, for example, can result in fewer people choosing to get screened for the disease because they're so terrified of what they might find. This is also true for issues such as climate change. When a news story is all doom and gloom, people feel depressed and become less interested in taking small, personal steps to fight ecological collapse. Number 23. The most remarkable and unbelievable consequence of melting ice and rising seas is that together they are a kind of time machine, so real that they are altering the duration of our day. It works like this, as the glaciers melt and the seas rise, gravity forces more water toward the equator. This changes the shape of the earth ever so slightly, making it fatter around the middle, which in turn slows the rotation of the planet similarly to the way a ballet dancer slows her spin by spreading out her arms. The slowdown isn't much, just a few thousandths of a second each year, but like the barely noticeable jump of rising seas every year, it adds up. When dinosaurs lived on the earth, a day lasted only about 23 hours.